on IWTV News. Football, baby. One last look. Our final fix before summer kicks in. Stress week blues on campus. How are students coping with final exams? Making a run for it. The Reavers running for a regional title. And rolling in a new coach. The new guy comes bowling in for the first time. From the campus of Iowa Western, you're watching IWTV News. Hello and welcome to IWTV News. I'm JJ Davis. That's right, football, baby. The Iowa Western football team closes out spring ball with its annual spring fling, or a make that glorified scrimmage. Now, where does this stand in the grand scheme of things? Well, it's simply a chance for the lesser known guys to get noticed. So when August rolls around, they're not just a number, but a name. Rivers on three, one, two, three, Rivers. It's the blue team against the white team. A couple of plays in, quarterback Kurt Walding scrambles and finds Nick Singleton. Number six stops on a dime, almost takes it to the house, sets up a field goal. O-lineman Josh Wegener's taken off with a leg injury. The D-line teeing off Chester Graves and company tackled for loss. Moments later, QB Clay Beathard hits Michael Zachary on a slant route and the redshirt freshman takes it all the way. Offensive line coach Donnie Wood sees three of his guys go down in a span of 17 minutes. The speedster from DM Dowling, Zachary unofficially nine catches for 105 yards. Now attrition and he cuts the night short. Beathard just threads the needle. The mid-year transfer quarterback from Franklin, Tennessee, unofficially 7 of 11, 172 yards, and this, one of his three TD passes. Another spring game, another mixed bag. I think from the amount of snaps we got, we got enough of what we needed to see. Wish you could have got more, but um, you know, that's the way it is in spring. Sometimes you, you're down in some numbers, but you know, overall, there's a bunch of guys we didn't need to see either. How's it feel to be back? It feels so good. Uh, I haven't played uh, an actual game in probably a whole year, more than a year. So to like come here and get a simulated game, feels nice to be out here with the whole team again. Uh, I like being around this environment. Well, I wasn't really here to prove anything, just come out here and have fun with my teammates. Uh, we work so hard for this opportunity, so it's just really fun when you go out and succeed at it. As a defense, I think we made leaps and bounds, you know, I mean, just got better, you know, and that's, uh, uh, there's a lot of guys that are going to be returning for us uh, defensively. Um, but, you know, I'm really looking for some leadership out of them because they're going to have to lead the charge for us. It was a good uh, evaluation to everybody come out here and, you know, show what they got and, you know, be ready for the fall when we come back from the summer and show how much work that people have actually put in during the summer. We've got a lot better condition. Uh, that's to be expected. Uh, we, we played more as a unit, especially the, the first group, definitely. Uh, coming in, uh, we only had two returning star, uh, starters on that D-line, and uh, as we played a little bit more, we started to mesh together a lot better. That's a wrap in spring. We'll get back and we evaluate it. I think we tackled little. better than maybe I thought we were going to um, because we don't tackle very much in spring. Um, so I thought we tackled fairly well, um, you know, and I thought, we, you know, we have some playmakers at wide receiver. That was good to see. Good to see a new engagement ring, courtesy of assistant coach Reese Baumgartner. Now the Reavers kick off the 2018 season at Coffeyville. Iowa Western opens up its home schedule Saturday, September 1st against rival Iowa Central. Another big event. Off and running over at the track, the running Reavers run against the best in the region. But up next, the way we were. Students reflect on the school year just completed when we come back. From the campus of Iowa Western, this is IWTV News. This is the story of a boy who didn't talk for a long time. The boy liked things to always be the same. Any changes would scare and upset him. The unknown was an unfriendly place. The boy was 
very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where they couldn't get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. He wasn't trying to be mean, it just made him feel uncomfortable. Sometimes he would flap his arms again and again. One day, I found out I had something called autism. My family got me help. Slowly, I found my voice and learned all the way I could live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs, just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? I can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed, and they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs, and it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover guitar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs. Okay, it's decision time. I want to experience a four-year college in two years. I want to live on campus, but get to my career faster. I want to get started now. Find your path at iwcc.edu and get hands-on, real-world experience. Start now at Iowa Western. Finals week is no fun, period. Now it's been so long ago for me, I honestly can't remember. But I do know one thing, finals week is, you fill in the blank. Okay, so now here's the million dollar question. How do you deal with final exams? I mean, do you pull all nighters or what? Because everyone faces finals in his or her own way. Here's IDUB TV student, DJ Mater. Finals week is upon us, and many students of Iowa Western find themselves overwhelmed with the grind. However, there are many tools at your disposal to assist with this worrisome week. Yeah, on finals week, students can come in, um, and we have printing services here. Um, if you are stuck or if um, you're not sure how to navigate the Iowa Western rock page, we are able to help that as well. We are also able to help on, on the cyber library. And the tutoring center, you can go in there and get help from uh, classmates with wherever you're struggling. The library is open until 10 p.m. Wednesday and Thursday and open until 5 p.m. on Friday. For more information and additional services, check the Cyber Library page on Rock. With IWTV, I'm DJ Mater. Thanks, DJ. All right, so now you're done with final exams and you're free. Well, not quite. What about your dorm room? Get to work. I mean, you gonna clean it or what? Here's IDUB TV student EJ Wren. Are you ready for the school year to end? Hopefully you've made sure everything is in order with housing first. So the first thing that you need to do is get a spring checklist from me or someone at the front desk and it will tell you all of the steps that you need to do. Um, you need to clean your bathroom thoroughly, make sure everything in your room is picked up and out of the room, as well as pushing in all of your furniture into the center of the room. I'm just taking out a couple of bags of trash and a little bit of knickknacks I don't need when I move back, considering it'd be a lot easier to 
get everything else like the couch the fridge the tv and my car and just go instead of having all these little stuff that's gonna break and this last weekend i took um, about four tubs of clothes that i won't need winter clothes and everything i started cleaning uh wednesday last week with uh, a couple of bags of other knickknacks and small trinkets and a couple of clothes that I want to get my house since it's not very far from here. Uh, as soon as my sister cleans the, cleans the rest of the dorm, so probably Wednesday we'll do that. Definitely take your trash out early. Um, the trash bins, we have like six out and they're filling up fast. So take them out and that way you won't be left with a bunch at the very end. I talked to Iowa Western RAs and students about fees and other issues that might arise. So if you have a bag of trash, um, after you leave, that is $25 per bag. So make sure that you dump all of your trash out and put it in the dumpster. Um, also, you gotta make sure that um, you are out by Friday at six. Every hour after that, you have $50. Towards the end of the year, um, people leave their furniture. We have a couple furniture pieces left behind in the stairwells or in the hallways that people don't want to throw away. and. We actually get people from Council Bluffs that come and look at the trash bins because there's a lot of furniture people just throw away. Basically just keep everything clean, try to do the best we can, make sure, like triple, quadruple, and quintuple check everything, like the bathrooms, the main room, and even the dresser, even if you know that you took everything out. There's gonna be one thing that they're gonna find some way to charge you with. I expect it to be a little bit busy, but I also expect it to be organized and um, not chaotic. With your IWTV News, I'm EJ Wren. Thanks, EJ. Okay, so now you're done with your tests and your dorm room is ready to rock, so you're ready to roll. But there's just one more thing. How are you going to remember this past school year? Now, we all know Mother Nature didn't help. I mean, was it good or bad? Here's IWTV student Kaylee Kleineff. At Iowa Western, anything is possible. This is where some of the best memories of your life are made. Today, I talked with some students about what their favorite moments this year are and their future career plans. Let's take a look. Well, I'm on the baseball team, so I'd say our first win at Crowder. It was just um, first win as a team. Everyone came together, and it was really nice to see everyone's faces and how we felt after that. My favorite moment this year is just having all the teachers in my program that helped me get to where I am today and also just meeting some of my best friends at this school. Uh, my favorite moment is probably the psychology classes. My psych teachers are really interesting and I have um, a teacher who's a psychologist who was a psychologist so it's really interesting. Probably just football season in general. I mean fall has been fun and uh, spring ball has been fun as well just being around all the guys so it's just a good atmosphere. My future plans are to continue to play baseball. Um, the coaches here have done a lot and hopefully are going to get me to the next level. So I'm transferring to Wayne State in Nebraska to just get my bachelor's degree. Um, I plan on going to UNO and then um, eventually grad school. I want to go to a four year and get my degree and uh, study business and so we'll see what life takes me after that. With the school year coming to an end and summer right around the corner, students sadly make their way home. However, fall semester will be here before we know it and new memories will continue to be made. With your IWTV News, I'm Kaylee Kleineff. Thanks Kaylee. Bowling for championships. The new guy or girl is counting on it. But first, Region 11 track and field. Not a bad weekend for a run after the break. Everything starts out small. The things that hurt us, they all start from somewhere. The words we say, the things we do, that can grow into something else. What was small and innocent can become big and sometimes scary. All it takes is one comment, one picture, one video for something to catch fire. But a big problem doesn't need a big response. Not at first. Even if 
we don't know what to say, the eye emoji can be that first step we take. Let's all pledge to take that first small step together and change the world in a big way. I'm a witness, and so are you. So, so we, we were, were walking, walking to school. school. I started thinking about lunch. Mom packed me turkey and cheese. She's I smart. Really cheese pizza. Sometimes her mind wanders. We should have a sleepover. I remember saying, Laura? I think I heard Laura. mom say something. The sign says don't walk. Sometimes it's so overwhelming. I really hope she doesn't I have really another bad day. I really hope we don't have another bad day at school today. When you can see learning and attention issues from their side, you can be on their side. Go to understood.org, a free online resource with support and tools to help your child thrive. Iowa Western women's team took home the plaque last year. Teamwork makes the dream work. That was the battle cry a season ago. So ladies and gentlemen, take your mark. And once again, Mother Nature cooperates. Decent weather. First up, women's 100 meter preliminaries. The Reavers, Tracy Brown, Brianna Carter finish one, two. Men's javelin, Iowa Western's Kenyon Burton lets it fly. 57-5-7. The freshman from the Dominican wins the event. Big Blue Zarin Goodrich throws it the farthest on the women's side. I still have a lot to work with with my technique, but like my last throw, I felt really good in that. So if I can start fresh my next time, I'll be good. The Reavers' Samaya Abuyum is good in the long jump. The freshman from Des Moines finishes first. We're about to eat. We're about to eat double win. David Jumetta does, in fact, win the long jump here and the triple jump the next day. I'm competing against myself for now, like, uh, because there's no one to push me. And uh, my teammate, me and my teammate, we used to, we used to, um, we, we used, we used to get it, like, we're training together, so I feel it's a process between two of us, the both of us. Women's hammer throw, Iowa Western Sakia Phillips. Mark takes third. Big Blues, Denzel Downing posts the fastest time of the 110 meter hurdles, 14.66. Big Blue trails fourth ranked Iowa Central on both the men's and women's side with just one day to go. Mother Nature cooperates for the final day. Women's pole vault, Salome Bruger of Iowa Western, the only competitor, and wins the competition. Ladies, 100 meter final. The Reavers, Tracy Brown, 11.91. What did it mean to win? What does it mean to win? You did your best. To me, that's what it means to win. Not crossing the finish line first, but you know, you executed and you gave all you got. Men's 100, Big Blue's Vincent Gordon leans in, 10.55. It means a lot. Come out, do it for my team, get them fired up. We need the fire, we need the boost. I just happy to do it for him. Women's 200, Iowa Western's Dorcas Jimma finishes first, 24.65 seconds. I didn't do good in the 100 meters, and so I was like, I was nervous in the 200. And it's good, I think I did my best. Men's 400 meter hurdles, the Reavers 110 meter champion Denzel Downing finishes a gritty second. Men's 400 final, Big Blue's Jordan Minnis takes second. Ladies 800, Ashani Robb guts it out, two minutes, 19 seconds, and change. The last 100 meters was hard because my legs became locked and I just tell myself that I need to push a little harder. Men's pole vault, Big Blue's Jonathan Whitcomb takes second, Luke Consbrook here finishes in fourth place. <laughs> Women's 400 meter relay, Iowa Western finishes second. 
In the end, Iowa Central wins the meet on both the men's and women's side. The Reavers, second. Big Blue sending over 20 kids to nationals. Turning to some baseball. Now Big Blue has cracked the top five in the polls as Iowa Western comes in at number four. Raritan's Reavers close out the regular season at home. The red hot fourth ranked Reavers host the Spartans of Southwestern. First inning, Iowa Western pitcher Jaden Cruz with his first of six strikeouts. Bottom of the inning, Tyler Reichenborn with a leadoff base hit. The sophomore then steals second. One on and two out, Ronald Sweeney jacks one to deep right. Two run home run, the Reavers are up two to zip. Meanwhile, right-hander Cruz just goes four innings and gives up just three hits. Fourth inning, bases loaded, first pitch to Brandon Binna. Grand slam, home run. The big blue up seven. Four pitchers combine on a five hitter as the Reavers stick it to the Spartans eight to one. Iowa Western then shuts out Southwestern 10 to zero in game two. Fourth ranked Reavers play the Spartans in game three. Top of the first, Sean Chandler goes three up and three down. The second inning, the sophomore once again retires the batters in order. Bottom of the second, Kobe Highland just sneaks a double just past the diving second baseman. And out later, Hagen Homestead draws a walk to put the runners on the corners. Up next, Cole Evan hits a double just barely as it scores Kobe to give the Weavers their first score. Braden Eckhout is up to bat as he hits an infield single that scores Hagen. Eckhout attempts to steal third. The pitch is thrown. The ball is way too high and sends the sophomore to home instead. I dub is up 3 to 0. Fellow teammate Tanner Holland reaches on an error and scores Reichenborn to give Big Blue a 4-0 lead. Top of the fifth, Chandler strikes out his eighth victim. To the sixth inning we go as the sensational pitcher Chandler gets strikeout number nine and 10. One out to go, and Keaton Wynn delivers and strikes out to help the Reavers win game three, eight to zero. The Reavers went on to win game four, six to zero. For IWTV News, I'm Terry Wilmus. Okay, so up next for Big Blue, playoffs, baby. But up next for us, time to hit the alley and come rolling in with a new guy. He has some thoughts to spare. Get it? On the other side. It's me, Artie. Come see what I collected from the Creative Galaxy in my idea box. Transform your world. Will you help me make art? Before you throw it away. Hey, I have an idea. Think outside the box. Give your cardboard box another life. Recycle. Drop that baby. <laughs>
Schedule your campus visit today. Iowa Western, the world is waiting. Iowa Western has 24 sports teams. Any way you look at it, that's a lot. Now we feature the new sports shooting coach a few weeks back. And now, anybody bowl? I mean, Council Bluffs is just a hotbed for bowling. So it was just a matter of time before the Reavers would feel the team. All right, so who's the lucky guy or the lucky girl? Who's going to come bowling in with a brand new era? Iowa Western's the home of 24 sports, football, volleyball, soccer, basketball, baseball, and so on. Now coming into focus in October, bowling. I want to build something special. That's what I'm here for. It's, uh, it's a chance to build a program from the ground up, and I think it's, uh, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me to do that. The former Nebraska bowler and head coach at Texas A&M will roll into the Reavers' home lanes at Thunder Bowl with 20 kids. Ten guys, ten girls. Five from each group will grip it and spin it in competition. The score is part of the equation, but really we want to see their fundamental game, their physical game, how they actually throw the ball. That's the number one thing you look for in a bowler. Their release especially, how, how good is their release, how clean is their release. I pick my spots. I'm more of a subdued, stoic when it comes to, to coaching more business-like. Uh, I like to you know, give my, my players confidence uh, through the storm, if you will, and, and keep things pretty even keel. But I will get into it and animate it at certain times, like you said, when you think it's appropriate. It's, it's really impressive, isn't it? All the championships they've won here at the NJCAA level and just everything, all the accolades. I mean, there's really, every single program is excellent. Uh, so I've got a lot to live up to. You have to have your athletes buy in. They've got to buy into the program. They've got to believe in, in obviously, themselves and, and their teammates and their coach and their school. So it's, it's all about, really, the brand. I just want to build that solid foundation. I want to feel like we're heading in the, the right direction. we got that base to build from. I want it to be a place where people want to come here. So we're looking to make nationals at the intercollegiate level, and we're looking to be a top three team at the junior college level. We're, we're going to be ambitious, so uh, we're going to give it our best shot and be competitive out of the gates. Out of the gate, rolling into eight tournaments the first season, and hopefully a couple more in the postseason. Now first, sports shooting, and now, bowling, as the Iowa Western Juco juggernaut continues to ball all out. And don't be surprised if the Reavers throw another <laughs> All right, so another one bites the dust. The IWTV news train just keeps trugging down the track. Now, I want to thank the Big Blue Media students, because without them, this would not be. It is simply their show. And so, for this latest edition of IWTV News, I'm J.J. Davis, and as always, I'll see you around campus. IWTV is online. Like us, follow us, watch us.